Hey folks, Kip Adams of the National Deer Association here. Hunting is a lot of fun. And one way that we can add even more excitement to it is to actually call to some of the animals to get them closer to us. Deer are far more social than many hunters realize. They call on a very regular basis. Does communicate with fawns, bucks are communicating with does, bucks are communicating with other bucks, all kinds of language going on out there. And with a little bit of knowledge and a couple calls, you can take part of this as well and help draw those animals in a little closer to you. Let's run through a few of the calls that you may hear either during the summer or fall of the year when you're on the deer woods. One of the most basic is a call that a doe will make to her fawns. When she sends them off to hide, she doesn't know exactly where they are. So she actually goes to the general area and will call, it's called a mew. So it's like meow, meow. It's a very soft, subtle call that those fawns will hear, they will stand up, come to the mother, and then she will go ahead and feed them. So this is something if you want to try to attract a deer during the summer, it's a lot of fun to be able to do this. If you go out and either make that sound or you can pretend to be a fawn that's maybe in distress, something that's a little louder, like meh, meh, meh. If you are anywhere near cover, in many cases, does will come running to inspect what's going on because they are very protective of their fawns. All right, if we get past the summer though now, and we're into the hunting season, now there are numerous other calls we can make. We can still make a call. We can make a soft grunt or a mew from a doe trying to call her fawn in. The meh, meh. A lot of times we can get a doe in range that way or make a fawn come closer. So maybe get a great picture of it. Um, what most hunters will do though, is something to attract bucks. And that's often involves some type of grunting. Bucks will use a number of different kinds of grunts, but some of the most basic ones are, you can either do this with your mouth or with a call like I have here, just to <coughs> over your mouth. <coughs> There's all kinds of calls on the market you can get. You can see this one sounds a little different. <coughs> We're just blowing into the end of this. Lots of options available. But there's actually a few different grunts that bucks will do. Something that they often will do as they're traveling, particularly during the breeding season or the rut, is they're calling to try to see what's going on in the area or attract other deer. So uh, you can do this in a buck that may be coming through there. We'll hear that and think, hey, there might be a buck down there. He may come down to inspect what's going on. If you do see a deer that's off in the distance, that you may, you know what, maybe I can try to get that buck to me. There's a grunt we can do that will actually call him out a little bit or let him know, hey, I'm looking at you and I'm talking to you. You better stay out of here. More of a challenge. So that is a grunt with a little sharp ending on it. Something like. Or with this other one. Being a little sharper, that's a little more aggressive to let him know, hey, maybe somebody's down there that thinks they're a little bigger than me. I better go down and inspect. Another call that's very common during the rut is just a little can call. And I can't tell you how many deer have been brought into range with this. And anybody can do this. It's literally turn it over, plug the bottom and turn it back. It's called the can. So this has killed a lot of bucks. So they will hear that. They think there's a doe there, bring them into range. And you can do this whether you see a deer or not. So you don't have to be looking at a deer. And in many cases, you need to be very careful if a deer is looking at you because they can lock on exactly where that sound is coming from. So in many cases, I'm calling blind. Just to let deer know in the area, hey, there's somebody's down here. So as they're moving through, they may want to come to inspect. Now, we also can then get a little more aggressive, have a little more fun with some antlers. During the rut, when bucks are fighting for does, many cases, they will get in fights. You can hear those antlers rattling and that can help call in some other bucks. We can actually take a rattle bag if you don't want to carry antlers with you. These are commercial sold. And it's, it's a bunch of wood on the inside of this, but it's made to simulate two antlers hitting together. And to simulate a fight, you, all you have to do is rub these boards or You certainly can go on YouTube and take a look at some watch bucks fighting and hear those antlers hitting and pushing each other. And that's exactly, that's exactly what we have here. If you don't want to use a rattle bag, you certainly can take shed antlers that you have and use the real thing or buy a pair of, of a rattling antlers to carry with you. Not quite as easy to pack as a rattle bag, but in many cases, these are more realistic. 
So the sequence of events for bucks fighting, they often are coming together. They often push each other a little bit. Then they really get into it and then they break away. So I think of it as in four steps. So the initial clash, push them, and then pull them apart. Often then you can rake a tree. You can rake the ground, particularly if you're talking about older bucks. These can be very violent confrontations. So if you're ever lucky enough to see one, you not only are hearing this, but you are hearing all kinds of other commotion going on as well. So don't be afraid to do that too. However, timing is very critical for this. Bucks aren't doing this early in the season. This is something that's saved for right in the peak of the rut when there's a lot of bucks out there chasing does and vying to, uh, to be the ones to, to win those breeding rights. The last call I'm gonna share with you is the most aggressive call that bucks do, and it's called a snort wheeze. And essentially this is when a dominant animal is challenging another animal. Younger bucks don't tend to do this, does don't do this. This is something that you may use to attract a dominant individual because they know that they're the toughest thing out there and only mature dominant animals tend to do this. And essentially this is where they are exhaling out of their nose and then sucking in really hard. It's often preceded by a grunt. So some will call it a grunt snort wheeze. So it sounds something like eh. We'll do that again. Eh. If you are ever lucky enough to hear that in the deer woods, you know that you are close to a dominant animal, to a mature animal, to a majestic white-tailed buck. And I just hope that you will be getting an opportunity to actually see that animal because that is absolutely a thing of beauty. And you know that is one of the folks at the top and the hierarchy in the deer world. So lots of different calling options available, stuff that you can do with your own voice, stuff that you can buy to simulate, but whatever the case is, don't be afraid to try it. Remember, hunting is fun. Calling to animals and partaking in a hunt can make it a lot more fun as well. So if you'd like to learn more about calling deer, social behaviors, or anything deer related, be sure to check us out online at deerassociation.com.